Hello boys, what I'm going to be doing today is something a little bit different. I'm actually going to be painting uh, something up today. So this is the first time I've done any kind of how to paint a uh, video. Um, it's nothing fancy. All I'm going to be doing is painting up a Stan Lee bus that I recently got 3D printed uh, that we're going to be using as some train on the channel. So uh, I'm just going to be painting up as a statue rather than with all the flesh downs and uh, the actual colours of a bus. Just so that it looks nice on the table and we can use it as say probably a size free piece of terrain alongside all the other terrain that we're slowly gathering for the board. So let's jump into it. So you can see here all of the different paints that we've used in today's video. They are also down in the description if you want to check that out. I've bought all of these from Boarding Brum as I'm really lucky that they stock all the different ranges of paints that I use. So you can check them out with the link below as well if you want to pick up some of the paints yourself. So I know I'm notorious for not painting my miniatures, however, I do quite enjoy painting up terrain as you can be a lot less precise, a lot more chilled out with the way you're painting and generally just worry a little bit less. So uh, today we're going to be painting up this 3D printed Stan Lee uh, sort of tribute bust. It was designed by a guy called Hex3D if you want to check him out, the file is free to download and use. Uh, I did make sure to get in touch with the designer and just make sure he'd be okay with me doing this as well. So we're all good for that. So as you can see, the model's got no paint on it at all. At the minute it has been washed after being printed, uh, which I've been told is a very, very important thing to do. So if you do end up printing this file for yourself, just make sure you give it a good wash. Make sure there's no residue uh, left over on the miniature. So now that we've got our Stanley, the first thing that we need to do is just base the model. And for this, I'm just going to be using Games Workshop Primer uh, Chaos Black. Which we've got in a rattle can so we're just going to be using that to base coat the miniature all over so guys we've now got stan the man base coated in a suitable black primer which is just chaos black primer as i said so the next step for me is to just add a little bit of depth to the black with some armor brown uh, which you can see here i'll be putting all of the paints in the description below and you'll be able to see them throughout the video as well so what i'm going to do is use an airbrush to apply this and I'm just going to go through and add some depth over the model with this. Uh, we are going to be painting this as a statue, but this just means that I don't have to be as consistent with the grey across the entire model. Uh, it gives me a little bit of space for some variance, which will make it look a little bit more natural. So guys, we've added in some brown sort of shading to add a little bit more depth. And again, this is more, uh, just a little bit more of an undercoat more than anything. A little tiny bit of this is going to be showing through. I personally do this with all my models. Uh, even if I'm painting white like my 30k death guard. So the next paint that we're going to be using is grey violet. Again this is a Vallejo model air paint. So this is just going to give us a rough colour of the statue all over. So as you can see here guys we've gone through and we've put in the majority of where the grey needs to be for our statue. Uh, you can see there some of the brown showing through underneath which is why I wanted to just get that down before putting the grey on. Just so that I didn't have to do a solid block colour as I think having the different gradients and the different tones to the grey is what makes it look a lot more natural and in my opinion at least a little bit better. Um, I'm by no means any kind of golden demon painter or even a great painter or anything but terrain is something I do enjoy doing. So the next step along in the process is we're going to lighten up some of the areas of the grey ever so slightly. Uh, for this we're going to be using Vallejo model colour and we're going to be using blue grey pale. So that is this paint just here. So we're going to put that on again for the airbrush. We're going to mix it with some thinner and then we'll get back to you. So we've gone through and picked out some of the higher areas of that lighter grey colour. Uh, along sort of the tops of his shoulders. Around sort of the collar area uh, and a lot of the face. I have been a little bit random with this in some places. Just because I do want to add a natural sort of weathered graded look to the statue. So next up, what we're going to do is be picking out uh, the rim of the glasses and the Spider-Man sort of pattern on his chest as well as the writing, the Stan Lee and uh, 1922 to 2018 down at the bottom. And we're going to be picking that out using Screaming Bell from Games Workshop. So this is just one of the Citadel paints. Uh, it's going to give us a nice bronzy colour. So I'm just going to go through and do that all by hand and then I'll get back to you. So guys, we've gone in with the screaming bell and picked out the glasses, the pattern on his chest, uh, the writing down at the bottom. As you can see, there's a couple of bits where I've just gone into the grey a little bit, uh, but we're going to tidy that up in the next step anyway. Talking of which, the next step is to go in with some Rhinox Hide, water down probably about 50-50 to paint, 
uh, and just go around all of those metallic areas just to sort of tie them into the model a little bit and add a tiny little bit of weathering. So what that leaves us with is a slightly more weathered uh, version of the screaming bell. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get our airbrush again and we're going to get a few washes. So the first one we're going to do is the Games Workshop Green which is a phony in camo shade. So we're just going to use a little bit of that all over the model. So what this has done is added a little bit more texture, a little bit more gradient to the surface across the stone. Uh, we're going to go in now with Agrax Earthshade and do a similar thing just through the airbrush again. Uh, just to add another little bit of colour. So we have been in with some Agrax just to pull out some more details. You can see it's a little bit wet there still in some areas. Um, but what it's given us is a nice stone texture and colour across the model. This is for drying anyway so we're not looking for any super fine detail. Uh, just something that looks nice on the tabletop. So the only other thing that we're going to do is go back again with some Rhinox Hoid. Uh, add a little bit more depth to some areas and just clean up some small parts where we might have done over with the screaming bell earlier. We're also going to pick out a few little bits that have just had a bit too much wash uh, with some more screaming bell just to make sure that we've got the look that we were going for. So guys, as you can see, that is the end of our tabletop Stanley bus statue which we're going to be using as some solid free terrain. Uh, if I wanted to go back in to add to this, I definitely could. I'd go in with some streaking grime, uh, possibly some more Vallejo effects, maybe even some pigments. But for now, I'm more than happy with how this has come out. It's taken me about an hour from start to finish to get this sort of weathered effect. And overall, I'm just happy with the way that the statues come out. Uh, so the look is very much what I was going for. Just wanted something nice and quick uh, to do justification to the 3D print and the sculpt. And I think I've managed to pull that off here. So... All of the paints that we've used here will be in the description down below. Uh, we will be using this on the channel uh, as our new Stan the Man statue. And uh, if you've enjoyed this, then please leave a like and comment. This is the first painting video of any kind I've done, uh, as I don't really paint ever. <laughs> but um, I thought I'd film this one just as we're getting more stuff ready for the channel. So guys, thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Feel free to leave any thoughts you have down in the comments below. And let us know if we missed anything or made any mistakes when playing the game. I just want to give a big shout out to all of the supporters of Web Warrior Protocols that have made this all possible. And a big thank you to all of the channel's patrons. The support from Patreon goes towards buying new terrain and buying new models to be painted up to be used on the channel. If you'd like to support the channel through joining the Patreon, you can find a link to it down below in the description, as well as links to all of the channel's social media.